honest, real life Lisa. Here we go. I just hopped out of the shower. I'm kind of like getting ready for work. Um, have a little bit of a scratchy throat. So if you're like, wow, she's changed her voice even. No, <laughs> I've had like a cough for like a while. So um, today I wanted to kind of show um, maybe like a tool. Like I'm not sure. What is it today? Tuesday? Tool Tuesday? I don't know. I kind of hate like the names of like days of the week because then you feel like you're committed to do something on that Tuesday. Whereas I just rather like to share videos with you as I'm inspired to share them. So I don't really want to call it like Tool Tuesday or you know Maggie Monday. I don't even know. I just kind of want to just share stuff as it happens real life. So that way you guys kind of see like how um, things are or what I'm doing or something that I use or what I'm painting on. It's just real life. So that's what I prefer. See even real life behind me. You can see like all my calendar, you know, my bucket list, uh, stuff like that. My snacks, popcorn, movie popcorn, leftover movie popcorn. So that's kind of like how I want to work this channel is not a set specific day that I'm going to be doing stuff on. Yes, it's going to be random, but that's okay. So kind of disclaimer from the previous video. So I wanted to show you a tool that I purchased recently and it is taking my art and I can produce stuff quicker. Um, some artists may feel like this is kind of a cheat, but to me in art, there's no such thing as a cheat. There's only the tools that are going to help aid you to get the product finished. Um, so I don't believe in art that there is anything of a cheat. I have issues with copyright, but that will be a different video. Um, so we're going to kind of go into this tool that I use. So um, let me just grab it here. Oh, let me turn it off so I don't glare you in the eyes with the light. So this is my Flare 150, my Flare 150 um, art projector. So how this works is it's like on a projector. So like the atypical projector, you know, in the schools where you used to put like the thing on the projector and then you shoot it across the wall and it would show up bigger as a presentation. Uh, so this is kind of taken up a notch. So this does not have any little flat screen that you put up and you put the paper on and it projects across the wall. This is all by LED. Um, I really love this tool. I don't even know all the functions that it does. I just am working with it based on how I know. And as I go along, I might even share more of the things that I find out that it does. But as of right now, I'm just going to kind of show it what I use it for. And this is kind of why I bought it. And it was an investment. So just so you know, this is not a cheap tool. Um, some of you may think it is inexpensive, but to me it was expensive. Um, so the cost on it was around $4.75 Canadian and I got it from my local art supply store. So you'd have to call them and see if it's available for them. Pardon me. So um, what this thing does is I can connect it to my computer or via flash drive or via HDMI cable. That's how I connect it to my computer because I have a Mac. And uh, there's a couple other things that it has here. It has like headphones. Um, this is your optical or your charger in and out. So this is chargeable. So you can charge it up. You can take it with you and make it portable. So then that way you don't have all of this with you. Um, I have taken it uh, a couple places and I find the charge is... I want to say maybe an hour and I'm not even really sure because I had it charged up. I turned it off. I turned it on. I used it for another place. I accidentally left it on. So I'm going to say the charge was maybe like an hour. Could be even four. I may have to test that out for you guys. So it comes with that. Um, it comes with this is a uh, what do you call it? This is where you put your SD cards, your camera cards and stuff like that in. So you can put this into the back here and then you can use all of the pictures off of this card onto the projector. So if you're trying to like take less work with you, if you're working somewhere in a gallery or you're going to a friend's place and you don't want to pack a lot, 
you can kind of take this. It also comes with this USB. So this is the Artograph uh, flash drive. Um, it has uh, videos on here if you're having troubleshooting. It has a couple of uh, good kind of um, basic images if you're trying to see how to put it onto the screen. Um, it has uh, FAQ videos running into problems. I think I said that. Kind of like a general uh, purpose FAQ video. So if you don't like to read, because it does come with a quick start manual as well as um, the projector information. If you don't like to read, it has that. It also has on there um, how to connect your phone. So this is one of the big pluses for me because I don't really like to take my Mac everywhere I go. So it tells you how to connect your phone. I'm going to show you that in a later video, or not in a later, later on in the video. See, this is me. Um, and then, so what I had to purchase, so this is just kind of like a little bit of a extra thing so I could use my phone. So this is kind of where I want to use it as a teaching tool. So what I had to buy was, this is the, I'm a Mac user, so I have an iPhone. You'd have to find out for Samsung. I don't Samsung. I don't like any other phone as soon as somebody hands me a Samsung or a Google phone or a Pixel or whatever kind of phone, I kind of freak out. I have anxiety about other people's phones. iPhone, no problem. Other phones, freaking me out. Okay, so what I had to buy was this is the um, splitter for my phone. I have an iPhone 7, so those of you who know, iPhone 7s don't have the auxiliary cord. So if you have the old iPhone 6, you could probably use a different setup than this, but this is what I had to buy. So this goes into my phone. So this part goes into my phone like such, okay? This part here is irrelevant. This is only if you want to charge it while you are using it. So that's up to you. Then this is an HDMI cable. So I'm just gonna set my phone down and I'm gonna plug in the HDMI cable to this piece right here. And then I'm going to take the opposite end and I'm going to plug it into the HDMI cable here. So I'll show you what it looks like later, but basically I can now use any image on my phone and I can project it onto a canvas. Or I can take, um, you know, if I'm showing a slideshow on my phone, I'm showing a video on my phone, I can take that to a class and I can show them what I'm trying to explain versus I'm like, okay, I have a picture, it looks like this, this, and this. So it's a great tool, a great teaching tool if you are needing something to have portable. Um, the other thing that it comes with is it comes with this fancy remote. Um, honestly, the only thing I've used it for is for doing the settings. Um, it has a nice little grid button on here as well, which I have used that just to make sure I'm square onto the canvas. Um, it also has a grayscale. I really like to use grayscale so I can see the depths and tones in a painting versus going straight to color first gives me a great idea of where my color shifts need to happen. That's kind of why I use Grayscale. We'll maybe get into that into a different video. Um, it also has a slideshow function as well, so you can do play, pause, rewind, etc. Um, it does play videos through your phone, uh, and it does have sound that comes through there, and you can connect um, a headset as well as Bluetooth speakers to that as well. So you can see it's a great, great tool. Um, we actually ended up watching Netflix on the projector. It's life. Well, well, you know, it works. It's like a giant TV. The only thing I would say is just make sure you have a really, really dark room. Um, it also has a, a ratio button, so that way if you do need to change your ratio scale. So I kind of just left it where it is, and I really like the scale that it is. I think it's 16 to 9 or whatever. It works for me. It works great. Um, it has a sleep button, um, it has a volume up and down, page button, mute, um, a still, so if you're watching a video and you want to capture a still, you can still the video screen and then you can use that. So there is a lot of functions on this remote. I do not know what all those little color buttons do. I think they're favorites or something, but anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot of functions to this actual projector. So I'm going to show you 
kind of how I use it. So I have my, I'm just gonna kind of move stuff around here. I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at my setup here. So I have my laptop. This is the HDMI cable connected into my flare. Um, and then I, this is just the uh, battery power. So right now it's off. So I'm gonna turn it on. Oops, I had it on, I lied. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn it on. You can see there's a little red button onto the power here. So all you're gonna do is just press and hold it. Well, press it. Um, if you do wanna turn it off, all you do is press and hold it here like this, and then it'll turn off, and then it goes, goes back to that red button. So if you just press it, that light will go away, and then it's going to project onto here. So I want to show you, this is the image that I am, you see my computer flashes a couple times. That's just the HDMI cable connecting to that. So it just kind of flashes. Um, so this is the new painting that I'm going to be working on. Whether or not I'm going to adapt it. I know I said I wasn't going to be ready to share, but I sketched it out onto the canvas and oh my God, she looks so pretty. Uh, I think she's a she, so we're going to say she's a she. So anyway, up on here you can see I have the picture projected onto this canvas so I'm just gonna turn the lights off so you can see oops let's turn off this light as well so now you can see it is right onto that canvas now you can see I can take this little is the focus so I'm gonna just move the focus for you so you can see so I can make it sharper let's go really fuzzy so you can see so there's really fuzzy and then you just kind of keep sliding it around until you find a really clear image. So there it is, just like that, projected onto the canvas. Now, you can either move your projector forward and back to kind of adjust your, um, you know, adjust the size. So if I wanted it smaller, I could go like that. You could kind of make it bigger. So it's just exactly like a projector. So if I wanted it really small, I'm just going to push it all the way to the front of the island here. And then if I want it bigger I can just pull it back and then just kind of have it set out onto the canvas so then what I do is I'm just gonna grab a pencil so what I do oh she's super super blurry hang on I'm just taking a look I just gotta adjust it with my eyes not the camera and it's not going to be exactly where it was I just want you to show you what I would do so what I would do is I would come in here and I would just start penciling in the different shapes that I see and the different colors. And I would kind of just sketch out each one of the definitions in this tiger. So I would make sure I went really good around the eye. Um, so, and then the nose as well as some of these other little areas just to define. And then when it comes to the splatter, I didn't go into all the little details because I'm gonna work on that with maybe like a palette knife. Not really sure yet. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see how it looks. Oops, let's go like this. Let's turn this off. Let's press and hold the button. And it should go off. There we go. All right, so now, oops. Gonna turn the lights on so you can see so you can see I have it all sketched out here so you can see it's got some really nice characteristics to it of the composition how I wanted it onto the canvas so that's how I have been sketching out my paintings so it's uh, really cool uh, so that way you can get a little bit more productivity out of it the nice part is I like the fact that I can Kind of take two images so i'm going to show you kind of another thing that i'm doing okay so this is how i like to use it so up here i know it's like pretty blared out right now um just because of the light but what this is these are my boyfriend's dogs so this is clutch right here this is clutch let me pet his ear and then this is pola so these are my boyfriend's dogs and uh, as a Valentine's present, I'm gonna try and get it done by Valentine's Day. If not, it'll be late. Um, but I want to paint these dogs 
but with kind of a moonlit background. So I'm gonna sketch the moon in over here, but what I do is I put the composition of the dogs on there first. So that way I can still make it an original piece of art and I can just kind of transpose some things over top. And this gives me a good idea on composition, how it's gonna look, if I need to move anything around. It's very, very low commitment. So it works perfect for my brain. So if I want to even make these guys a little bit closer, might even just make them a little bit smaller. So everything's movable. So I'm just gonna kinda put them like that. I might even move these guys up a little. I'm just gonna go up to my computer and just adjust this back just a little. I want more of their heads in here than I want their legs. So you can see I'm just kind of adjusting. And that looks kind of cute. Just like that. Like I said, I want more of their faces. Like I said, I can almost even just go like this. We're going to zoom in. This is almost too close. As you can see, this is a little too close, but the moon would look really cute here. So if I did a moon, and maybe some clouds that would look cute and look at them aren't they adorable so I'm going to do uh, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to do fast motion me sketching this out I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you Okay, so now, in a matter of minutes, I have these guys all sketched out. And now, how cute is that as a uh, picture for, you know, him for Valentine's Day? So, uh, I will probably show the progression as I paint on this one. Um, so, I just wanted to show you how good of a tool that that projector is. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon.